For today's lesson, I thought I'd look at multiplication of decimals. Now I'm going to use this grid method, sometimes called the Elizabethan method, of course seen it called the box method, the window method, etc. Now I usually tell a story to go with this, and if you've never seen this method before, I'll pop a link over in the top right hand side there, and that's a link to a previous video I did on how to use this box method, multiplying a two digit number by a two digit number. Now the way we use this is we write the two, then the decimal point, then the three, making sure that the decimal point goes above this vertical line here. We then write the 4.6, so 4.6, and again, making sure the decimal is in line with that horizontal. It's then just a case of multiplying rows and columns. So I'm going to multiply the two by the four to give eight, and I put a zero, then an eight in there. Three multiplied by the four is 12, three multiplied by the six, 18, and the two multiplied by the six is 12. What we then do is we add going diagonally so this way, always starting over on the right hand side. So we've got eight in that first one, then two, one and two gives five. The third one, we've got 10, so we zero down, write a nice big one, and then finish off with a one. Now the last step is to say, well, where does that decimal point go? And this is what students normally struggle with when using a traditional method of multiplying um, decimals. It's quite easy with this method. We go down from this decimal point, we go across from this decimal point. Where do we meet? There we meet. And we follow it all the way down that diagonal. So we get 10.58. I'll just throw in another quick example for you. So we've got 6.3, 4.2, 2 your multiplication, 6 4s are 24, 3 4s are 12, 3 2s are 6, and 6 multiplied by the 2 is 12. And then add diagonally, we've got the 6, 2 and 2 is 4, we've got 6 here and 2. And finally, where does my decimal go? And along here, follow the diagonal all the way down, and the decimal goes here, so 26.46. Now, obviously, we're not limited to a 2x2 two two grid. It could be a 3x2, 3x3, 4x2, etc. Just a case of drawing the grid and then doing the multiplication. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.